How's it going? Coach Alonzo Harvey here with Coach Taiwan Howard. How's it going? I wanted to talk about maximizing your training while you at practice. What I mean by that is getting the most out of your training while you actually in class. Because the mm -hmm. average person train, average person train two, three times, times a week. A week yeah. One hour, two hour class, yeah. hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So while you in practice, you want to be able to get the most out of it. Mm -hmm. All right. Quality over quantity. Yep, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I want to talk about, we brought this up today, so that's what spurred this video on last minute, is uh, no goofing around, like goofing during class around. and drilling. Yeah. Now, what I absolutely hate in class is when people have a side conversation going on, when the instructor is showing the techniques, and then once we start, they walk over to you and say, what are we doing again? Oh, yeah. that, that burns my gears. <laughs> right? The other thing I hate is once we explain the technique and the brother's going and everybody's doing the techniques and then you look up and two guys are like, hey, yeah, da, 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 yeah. da, da. This isn't speech class. We're training the martial arts. We're training the fight. You need to be focused on the drills at hand and not having a side conversation. Get the reps out. Yes. And another reason for that is also, too, number two is I want you want uh, intensity in your drill. And I don't mean like just bombing your guy. We were doing partner drills, but mindset. So mindset. Mind, your mindset. mindset. If you're just sitting there talking like, hey, man, you know, and I'm just kind of throwing the, you're 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 kind of coasting. Coasting. Then when it's time to fight, guess what you're going to do? Subconsciously, you're going to coast. You're not, you're not going to go zero to 60. If you're used to going zero to 20, you guess what you're going to do? Go zero to 15. Because under stress, you perform less. Right, so not focusing and coasting during drills. Also, I want to bring up uh, no rushing through your drills, right? Yeah. Skipping steps or uh, adding on to it sometimes, right? Because right. Uh, a lot of like some of my advanced students, they kind of stop half listening to a drill that they because they think they know what's going on, but we might add something new to it, and they they, they um they're missing that part. So so what happened is is they'll, they'll jump the gun. So let's say the combo is cross hook, low kick, right? And, and they're throwing cross hook, two low kicks, hook punch, uppercut hook, right? When we really wanted to throw cross hook, low kick, and then maybe put a focus later on on oh, loading up else. on the hook punch. And then they go jump in the gun, and then they lose all the good ingredients that we were getting ready to give them. Absolutely, so that's another one too. Also too, you wanna get the most out of your training when you come to class, you only come in two, three times a week. Be consistent, right? If you only got two days a week, you come to come them two days a week. Yeah. If you come in three days a week, come three days a week. The more you come and train, the faster you can get better, right? right? right. The more you improve, the more you develop that muscle memory. You got to do a technique over 100,000 times before you develop muscle memory. So when you do a technique over 100,000 times, guess what? Your spinal column comes into play. Your subconscious mind comes into play. And when you're under stress, when it's a stressful situation, and you practice the technique over 100,000 times correctly, guess what? You're not even going to think about it. You're just going to fire yep. it off, and it's going to be a great technique. So that's why you don't want to rush the techniques or, or go ahead of the techniques or, or try and put more power into the techniques before you even develop the technique. It's always about developing good technique and then adding all the other ingredients later on. And I want one last bonus one. This, even though we're talking about it in class, we're going to probably make another one about what you can do at home. But this one can help you while you're in class, but when you go home. It's, it's taking notes. Taking notes. Taking notes. Well, that's, that's how you grow. You, when you come to class, so look at martial arts class like you're going to college class, right? Yep. You go to college class, the teacher's going to give you a big crash course of all this information. Now it's up to you to make notes and yep. to go home and to review the information and study the information. If you don't go home and review the information and study the information, then it's going to be at a wayside. You're going to start forgetting some of the information. You're going to need to retain around 40%, 30%. But if you take notes immediately when class is over with and you go home, you're going to yep. retain around 80%. And then you're gonna go home, you're gonna start practicing it. Let's say you don't look at your notes and you start messing up the technique, right? And then you look at your notes and say, oh, I left out <laughs> the right. step with this, or I left out right. the step with that. And now it's all coming back to you. And now you're making even more progress because you're doing your homework. Right. You make your progress when you do your homework. It's all the work that takes place when nobody's around, nobody's watching, and you're at home grinding it out by yourself with good technique because you came to class. 
and you learned good technique. Not because you, you came to class one time out the week and now for the whole month you're at home training by yourself. You don't have your coach's guys looking at you telling you, you know what, you need to be stepping out to the left or right. stepping out to the right instead of stepping in. Or you need to be slipping your head this way. Or you need to be turning the punch over that way. You need your coach's eyes on you sometimes, most of the time, to tell you where you're messing up at. Because those things you'll, you'll mess up on your own and you won't correct on your own. And even coaches need coaching. Yeah, absolutely. And one last one. This is kind of self-explanatory, especially for new people, but for all levels. Ask questions. Ask your instructor a question. Mm -hmm. You got a good instructor, he should be walking around the mat right. and kind of keeping an eye on everybody. Mm -hmm. But if you keep getting lost and maybe your partner's getting lost, ask questions. So ask questions at the right time. Yeah, at the right time. Your instructor's going to tell you that. Uh, anybody got any questions after he's done demonstrating the technique? Release. Or do you want me to show the technique several times over? Or the instructor's gonna be walking around and he'll see you killing the technique, you're just doing it horribly. And he'll say, stop, do you yep. got any questions about this? Cause I see you're messing it up. And then, then he'll give you some input and insight on it. But if he's talking to you while you're training, you don't stop what you're doing and look, look at him. Yep, absolutely, that's my worst. Cause then you're training that's yourself to worst. do that in the middle of a fight. What if you're, you're in the middle of a fight and your corner's selling you, Jab, cross, and one, two, and slip, and da da da. You're gonna stop in the middle of the fight, look at your corner, and do it again? No, you can get knocked out doing something like that. Yep. So you keep your ears open and your eyes focused on the task at hand. And what I mean by asking questions is asking questions on what's relevant and what you're doing right, right now. Right. I don't, don't be the what if guy. But right. what if this and what, what if that? that? What if that? The, the, if your instructor, if your instructor is has everything structured properly mm -hmm. and teaching the system. He's probably building up to the what if. What are the what he's, if. He's if you give him a chance, he's gonna eventually might answer all the questions you have, but you're jumping the gun. So don't jump the gun. Wait till the end of the class to ask some questions. Take mental notes and stuff. Write down your notes. Soak it up. Use, use, use your time constructively when you're here with other good quality people. Get your work in. This isn't speech class. We didn't nope. come here to write essays and give speeches. Get the so, work in. So we're not here to da 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 da. We're here to work. We're here to work. And never, ever, ever in class, if you've got good instructors, never take anything they tell you personally. Right. Take it constructively because all they want to do is see you improve. Yep. That's it. We're out. This is to help you get the most out of your training when you come to class. Hope these tips help. We're out. Peace. Peace.